Yo guys, welcome to our channel. The channel is Nazvin. Uh, today we are going to talk about something very also very important about our health. This way we get to discuss matters health. And if you have not uh, subscribed, you have not shared our videos, kindly do so. I realize most of us are watching without subscribing. Kindly by subscribing, by liking the video. You get YouTube to recommend us to the best uh, audience and uh, the, info the basic information such as what we're going to share today gets to reach a larger population. Today we're going to talk about the five things that destroy your erection. The five things that destroy your erection is our discussion today and we're going to talk about, uh, about them. We're going to mention the five of them. We're going to talk about how you're going to manage them, if you get to experience them, and uh, all, how you're going to treat them. We're going to discuss some complications related to erection, and also uh, do some conclusion over the same. So erection function, uh, when we talk about erection, function can be influenced by uh, various physical, psychological, and also lifestyle factors. And the five common uh, things that can negatively impact your ability to achieve uh, the erection, uh, that's what we're going to talk about, or maintain an erection, is going to, 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 we're going to talk about. And number one is about poor diet and obesity. Poor diet and obesity is one, uh, one cause which can impact your erection. The impact of uh, poor diet and uh, obesity is that uh, high uh, diet High unhealthy foods, that is fats, sugars, processed foods can lead to obesity, which is uh, linked to reduce the, the sterile levels. Guys, we did uh, previously uh, the video on uh, testosterone and its role in, uh, uh, in function and erectile functions. So when we, we have uh, obesity, we have reduced testosterone levels, we have poor circulation, and this increases the uh, ability of one having what you call ED or erectile dysfunction. So obes obesity also contributes to conditions like diabetes and high blood pressure which predisposes one to uh, erectile uh, dysfunction by impairing the erection function. Number two is the excessive alcohol consumption. Excessive alcohol consumption is number two cause of this uh, failed uh, erection. The impact of this is, is that uh, while a small amount of alcohol might help to reduce the anxiety, the excessive uh, alcohol intake can uh, depress and also the central nervous system, making it harder to achieve the erection as appropriate. So chronic alcohol use can also lead to liver damage or liver cirrhosis, hormonal imbalances, and also nerve damage, further contributing to the electrical uh, these uh, problems. Number three is about uh, smoking. How does smoking affect erection? By smoking, uh, uh, the smoking from our previous videos we've done, guys, we talked about smoking damages blood vessels and restricted, uh, restricts blood flow throughout the body. That includes the penile area. Then the nicotine that causes the, the nicotine in the cigarettes can cause arteries narrowing reducing the blood flow to the penis area, making it difficult to maintain or achieve an erection. Long-term smoking is a significant factor for erectile uh, dysfunction. Number four is about stress and anxiety. The impact of this when one is stressed and very anxious, the psychological factors like uh, stress and anxiety and depression can interfere with the sexual arousal and also performance at the end of the day. The release of stress hormones such as cortisol uh, gets to decrease uh, the sexual desire and also inhibit body's ability to maintain an erection. So performance anxiety specifically can create vicious cycle of fear and also uh, dysfunction. Number five is about uh, what you call lack of physical activity. When one lives, uh, lives a sedentary lifestyle, it contributes to the cardiovascular health and also obesity, reducing the steroid levels all of which uh, can lead to electrical dysfunction. So regular physical activity is needed to improve uh, blood circulation, boost the mood, and increase the energy levels of uh, an individual. 
so all of which support the erectile function at the end of the day. So by addressing these uh, uh, healthy lifestyle choices, such as eating balanced diet, exercising regularly, managing stress, and avoiding smoking and excessive alcohol, can help improve the erectile function and overall well-being of an individual. So if erectile uh, issues persist, it's very important that you wait to consult your healthcare professional for further management and also uh, guidance as appropriate. So how do you manage these uh, erectile function uh, if you experience these uh, weak erections? It involves a combination of lifestyle changes, medical treatment, psychological support, and some effective strategies for managing potentially uh, erectile function. So number one is about lifestyle modifications. So healthy diet is very key where you will get to adopt a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats. The, so also we have what we call med, med, Mediterranean diet. Mediterranean diet, for example, is, knowing, is known for cardiovascular health. So which direct affects the erectile function at the end of the day. Regular exercise. Engage in regular physical activity, such as the cardio, through walking, running, swimming, and, and also strength training. So the exercise uh, improves blood flow, boosts energy levels, and also helps maintain the healthy weight. Limit alcohol intake is also another way of managing it, where you reduce alcohol consumption to moderate levels. When we talk about this, no more than two drinks per day, and uh, excessive alcohol can impair sexual performance at the end of the day. Quit smoking. If you smoke, quit smoking is the most important step you can take to improve your blood circulation and also erectile uh, function. Sleep is very key, where we ensure you have enough quality sleep uh, because uh, sleep is very critical for overall health and also testosterone production. So when you sleep, testosterone gets to be produced well and this helps in uh, sex uh, function as appropriate. Medication treatments, uh, we said uh, if you have these issues, you can see your healthcare provider to put you on, on medical treatments. And when we talk about this, we are talking about phosphodiesterase uh, type, type 5 or PDE5 inhibitors. Here in Africa, most of the common drugs used here is what you call Sildenafil or Viagra, Tadalafil or Cialis, uh, and uh, Fadadafil or what you call uh, Levitra. So they are commonly prescribed to help blood flow to the bed penis and also facilitate the erection at the end of the day. The steroid therapy is also another way of managing medically. If low steroid levels are contributing to erectile dysfunction, hormone replacement therapy can be considered as appropriate. This could be done under guidance of a healthcare provider as appropriate. Penile injections can also be given by your healthcare provider. Uh, in this, we use medications like uh, adipoa alprostadil, which can create a, can be injected directly to the penis to induce erection. This is used usually uh, when oral medications are in, ineffective. Vacuum erection devices, or what you call VED, can also be used in advanced areas. These devices create a vacuum around the penis, drawing blood flow into the, into the, into the penis area. The constriction band is, is then placed in the base of the penis, a penis to increase the erection during the intercourse. Surgical procedures for severe cases of the erectile dysfunction where we don't respond to treatment, penile implants can be used or a vascular surgery can be considered as appropriate. The number three aspect also is about psychological support where counseling and therapy, if one is stressed or anxious or has relationship issues uh, which contribute to the erectile dysfunction as identified by the expert, Therapy of the psychologist or the counselor can be beneficial, where we also have cognitive behavior therapy introduced, which can help address the negative patterns related to sexual performance. Sex therapy is also very key, where sex therapist is involved to work with individual or couples to address the emotional or psychological barrier to the sexual function as appropriate. Mindful, uh, mindfulness and relaxation, guys, is also can be used, where you, you practice yoga, uh, meditation, deep breathing, and progressive muscle relaxations, which can help uh, reduce the anxiety and also improve focus during the sexual activity. Also, managing underlying conditions, where we, you, you must get to control the 
uh, lifestyle diseases or control chronic uh, diseases like diabetes and high blood pressure, high cholesterol and cardiovascular diseases which, uh, uh, which affect uh, erectile function. So managing these conditions through medication is very key where diet and also lifestyle changes is crucial for improving the erectile function at the end of the day. Monitor medications, some medication or other condition for conditions such as uh, antidepressants and antihypertensives can contribute to erectile dysfunction. So with your healthcare provider, uh, the doctor should provide the alternative, uh, possible alternatives of adjustment and also uh, if, we, if one suspects this is a drug which is causing these problems which affect your sexual health at the end of the day. Communication also with your partner is a, another aspect where open dialogue is, uh, is introduced, uh, discussing the electrical dysfunction, which can reduce the stress and also anxiety at the end of the day, so that you get to reduce the electrical uh, dysfunction as, uh, as, uh, as, uh, as, uh, as much as uh, you can. So communication uh, is very key. And also explore beyond uh, penetration with your uh, with your partner, so that you get build emotional intimacy, and also to get to uh, uh, get uh, to explore other forms of physical affection, which can help us satisfying sexual relationship. Regular checkups is also another thing which can be introduced at the end of the day. Regular checkups get to help you to healthcare provider. To find out what is really happening with your health and also uh, provide uh, uh, what is happening if there's chronic illness to check so that you get to get assisted. Sometimes we have erectile dysfunction uh, complications which affect both physical health and also overall well-being. This complication can be can be ex extend beyond inability to achieve or maintain an erection. And this gets to impact the emotional, relational, and psychological aspects of life. And some of the potential complications which can uh, come up is psychological impact. So low self-esteem, persistent ED can lead to feelings of inadequacy or low self-worthy, especially if a man uh, associates his sexual performance with his masculinity. So also depression, this is very frustrating. And also distress can cause erectile dysfunction, which can contribute to the, or exacerbate the depression, particularly in a condition when it is not addressed or treated. Also, anxiety can pop up, often leads to performance uh, uh, anxiety, uh, creating cycle where there is failure, of, uh, which increases the likelihood of continuing of the erectile issues. Relationship strain is also another complication, where communication breakdown can be a problem, ED can cause uh, communication issues with the relationship, misunderstandings, feelings of rejection or frustration between the partners. Reduced intimacy is also another one. The physical and emotional disconnect between uh, the partners can cause uh, ED because of the decrease in sexual activity and emotional intimacy, potentially uh, harming the relationship at the end of the day. Partners' emotional impact. Partners of those with uh, ED may experience their own emotional distress including the feelings of rejection, inadequacy, or concern about their partner's health. Sexual dissatisfaction is also another complication. Where decreased sexual satisfaction, the inability to maintain erection can lead to dissatisfaction with one, one's uh, sex life and also affecting both partners at the end of the day. Loss of sexual interest over time, persistent ED can may reduce sexual desire either due to frustration or fear of repeated uh, failure at the end of the day. Fertility issues can also pop up with uh, difficulty in conceiving. So ED can complicate evil, evil efforts made by the partners to conceive. They are, it may limit the frequency or success of the actual intercourse. This can be particularly distressful for couples trying to start a family at the end of the day. Cardiovascular health concerns, underlying cardiovascular uh, diseases, uh, can be linked to can be linked to things like uh, the, uh, the narrowing of the arteries. That's what you call atherosclerosis, uh, and also ED can also be a warning sign of heart uh, uh, disease, stroke, or other vascular uh, conditions. Increased risk for heart attack is also another one where men with uh, erectile dysfunction 
uh, particularly those with uh, other risk factors like diabetes and hypertension, may have a higher risk of heart attacks or cardiovascular events. Number six is about to reduce to the quality of life. The impact on daily activities, the emotional and psychological toll of erectile dysfunction can affect a man's overall life, impact work and also social interactions and also general happiness at the end of the day. The impact of uh, treatments, side effects, because of the use of a lot of drugs in the ED management, the treatment of ED such as with oral medication can have side effects such as a headache, flushing, nasal congestion, or serious issues like vision, hearing, and also problems uh, with the uh, vision. Surgical risks uh, like uh, in ED, they are associated with uh, infections and also mechanical failure in case of penile implants or dissatisfaction with the results. Impact on the mental health, chronic stress can pop up because uh, it can, which can exacerbate the AED and also contribute to other health issues. Increased risk for suicidal uh, thoughts or suicidal uh, tendencies because of depression uh, can lead to, because uh, this can lead to suicidal thoughts and also behaviors. Drug dependency, reliance on ED medications. Some men may become psychologically dependent on ED medications, believing that they cannot achieve an election without them, which can further exacerbate their confidence and also mental health. Compounded health issues, so overlapping health conditions like ED is often associated with other conditions like uh, diabetes, high blood pressure, or obesity. So failure to manage ED can uh, could mean neglecting these underlying health issues, which can worsen over time. Addressing ED early and comprehensively can help uh, prevent or mitigate the complications. And it is important to seek medical advice, explore uh, treatment options, and consider both physical and psychological uh, approaches to manage the ED. So, so effective management can lead to improvement of quality of life, better, better relationships, and also overall well, uh, well-being. On the prevention part of uh, the, this, uh, prevention of the erectile dysfunctions, it involves adopting healthy lifestyle, managing underlying healthy conditions, psychological well-being, and some of the strategies which you can, you can employ to manage this one. Number one is about balanced diet. Is, uh, each diet rich in fruits, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats, especially when we talk about the med Mediterranean diet, which include plenty of fish, nuts, Oil, olive oil and whole grains is particularly beneficial for, for the cardiovascular health, which directly impacts the erectile function. Limit of uh, processed foods is uh, very key. Avoid excessive consumption of processed foods, sugar snacks, and also food high in unhealthy fats, as this can lead to obesity, can lead to diabetes and heart disease, and major risk of this for erectile dysfunction. Number two is about exercise regularly. Cardiovascular exercises uh, like aerobic exercises such as walking, running, swimming, cycling. This helps the blood circulation at the end of the day, maintaining a healthy weight and also reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease. Strength training is also another thing where we get to incorporate training exercises into your routine to help you improve overall fitness and uh, testosterone uh, levels, which can support uh, the sexual health. Pelvic floor exercises. Consider doing Kegel exercises to, to strengthen the pelvic floor muscles, which can en enhance the erectile function. Avoid smoking. Guys, quit smoking. Smoke damages the vessels and restricts the blood flow, increasing the risk of erectile dysfunction. Quitting smoking can significantly improve the cardiovascular health and also reduce the likelihood of developing the erectile dysfunction. Limit alcohol consumption. Drinking alcohol in moderation, excessive alcohol intake can depress the central nervous system and impair the sexual performance. Aim to stay with the recommended limits up to two drinks per day for men. So that's very key. Manage stress and mental health. Stress reduction, stress reduction. Practice stress management techniques such as mindfulness, meditation, yoga, or deep breathing exercises to reduce anxiety and promote the relaxation. Seek uh, uh, counseling if you experience anxiety, depression, or relation issues. Consider seeing a therapist or a counselor. So address medical, mental health issues can, which can, can prevent the erectile dysfunction. Weight management. Uh, so maintaining a healthy weight is very key. So where your obesity is, is a, a significant risk factor for ED. So maintaining healthy weight 
through the balanced diet and the regular exercise can help uh, prevent or reduce the risk of uh, erectile function. Number seven is about monitor and manage health conditions. So regular checkups, visit your healthcare provider uh, to monitor the blood pressure, cholesterol levels, and the blood uh, le sugar levels. Managing this uh, uh, can help prevent conditions that, such as erectile dysfunction, diabetes, and hypertension, and also heart disease. Control also chronic illnesses. If you have conditions like uh, diabetes or high blood pressure, work with your doctor uh, to manage them effectively throughout the medication and also for lifestyle changes. Be, cautious, be also very cautious with medications. So your, your healthcare provider should review your medications. Some medications including certain antidepressants, antihistamines, and the blood pressure drugs can contribute to erectile dysfunction. Discuss any concerns with your doctor about, and ask about uh, alternatives if uh, very necessary. So avoid recreational drugs also, like illicit drugs. Profound, they have a, a profound effect on sexual function, so it is important to avoid them. Guys, also get enough sleep. Seven to nine hours of quality sleep per night is very key because poor sleep can negatively affect the sterile levels and energy levels and overall health, which in turn can impact the uh, erectile function at the end of the day. Stay sexually active. Stay sexually active is very key. Regular sexual activity uh, can help maintain erectile function by promoting healthy blood flow to the genital or the penis and reducing the stress. Regular screening and early detection. Early detection is very key, where you get to get screened and any problem which can lead to erectile dysfunction can be really detected early. Also consult with your healthcare provi provider. If you notice any changes in your health, consult healthcare provider promptly. Early intervention can prevent worsening of the symptoms at the end of the day. So guys, uh, preventing erectile dys uh, dysfunction involves comprehensive approaches that includes maintaining a healthy lifestyle, managing underlying health conditions, addressing psychological uh, well-being, by adopting a balanced diet, engaging in regular physical activity or exercise, avoiding smoking and excessive alcohol, managing stress and maintaining a healthy weight, you can significantly reduce the risk of erectile dysfunction. Additionally, managing chronic uh, uh, and health conditions, monitoring medication use, and also staying proactive with regular checkups can contribute to overall uh, well health and also well-being. Addressing psychological factors and seeking professional help, it can be very key when needed to support and prevent any complications and also improve the quality of life. So this holistic approach to health and well-being is key to prevent and managing erectile dysfunction uh, effectively. Guys, the channel is Nurse Vin. My name is Vincent. Vincent is not your average nurse. This is where we get to discuss matters, me matters medical. Uh, because health matters in our lives. We, no, we never engage in uh, medical jargon. We use this, uh, in, we discuss this in a simple language which we can also understand because uh, this, this information is very vital. You don't need to be a medical person uh, through medical jargon to understand what we discuss about because these are the things which are basic and they affect us in our daily life. That's why I've chosen the simple language to discuss these issues. Guys, welcome. Guys, like the video, guys, share the video, guys, subscribe to the channel, guys, give support to, the, to us so that we get to, uh, to reach a larger population through our productions and through our videos, guys. Guys, welcome, and I want to welcome you to our next video. Thank you, guys. Peace.